guys got it? Yes, right, hard work on three, sprint to the next spot. Ready? One, two, three, hard work. Sprint to the next spot. Don't walk. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Nice bounce back for you guys after a tough one the other night. Um, what went well? I, I thought our guys really responded. We, we had a nasty taste in our mouth after Saturday night. Um, you know, I, it, it never feels good to lose on a last second shot, especially one from behind half court. But we also felt like we did some things down the stretch that put us in the, that position. You know, we we had a two possession lead there with a minute, to go, you know, a little over a minute to go. Um, so we didn't feel very good about Saturday night, regardless of whether it was a, a tough shot that went in, a one in a hundred shot that went in to beat us. Our guys really responded tonight. We're not playing our best basketball right now, but it's November, so that's okay. That's okay. We're not in sync offensively yet. But I was really proud tonight that you know we came out in the second half. We held them scoreless there to start the second half for a, a bunch of time. I don't have the exact time, but it felt 14 like, nothing. So. Yeah, it felt like five minutes or so. And I think if we'll embrace being a team that rebounds and, and really guards on, on that end of the floor, we can be a really good basketball team this year because the offense is going to come over time. The bench seems to get more pumped up over you know, a charge that Bass takes down here than, than it does over dunks. What, is that just sort of the mentality of this team? Well, I hope we get pumped up about any good play. Right. But, <laughs> yeah, it, it's great if, again, when this team decides that our identity is going to be built on defense and rebounding, this is going to be a really good team. And we're, we're not where I want us to be in, with the mentality side yet, but we are taking steps, and I thought we took some steps forward tonight. It seemed like during that um, that run you all had early in the second half that Isaiah was really vocal and kind of clapping and talking to other guys. Um, did you see something from him tonight, that, or is that sort of the way he's been all season? I mean, that's Isaiah Miller, right? Yeah. I mean, he's going to be he's an elite competitor. He has elite energy, and he had that force tonight in the second half. And I know it's really strong uh, to, to lose the way that we lost on Saturday for him. And so I think he wanted this win about as bad as, as you could want to win this, this time of year in November. How does everybody knows Isaiah and James? Uh, speak toward what role Caleb is, because it seems when he plays, you all do pretty well. You know, Jamie, he's really taken – a humongous step forward from freshman to sophomore year. Uh, he's become a guy that can really score the basketball. Um, but if you really are watching closely, he's getting it by doing the little things. He runs the floor every possession. He goes to the board every possession. He's our best cutter. And the ball seems to find him because he plays the right way. And uh, he's improved his skill level, his shooting, his slashing. Um, but I think he's doing the little things, and he's really taken a leap from freshman to sophomore year. And He's turned into one big-time guard, you know, it, 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 in this league. Your team got the mentality they expect to win all the time, though, now, too, right? That was kind of a part of the bounce back, I guess. The, that's the mindset. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I think there's an expectation to be a good basketball team. You know, a lot of these guys were a part of some success the last couple of years. Um, they, they expect to be a good team. They expect to compete every time we take the floor. And, uh, you know, I think we have respect for every opponent. But I also think that, you know, they're highly competitive and want to win games, no doubt. No points for James Dickey tonight, but 12 rebounds, four blocks. If he, is he kind of an anchor for you defensively? Or he can be? You know, I, I, him and Isaiah and Malik are our anchors defensively, and each of them in a different way. But I'm so proud of James. And the ball's going to start dropping. The guy's one of the hardest working kids I've ever coached. He's come so far offensively. Now he's turning into a facilitator. He's making plays with his passing. Um, and the ball's going to start. Past that's right. And the ball's going to start falling. But, you know, I, I think that's what his greatest gift is, is what he can bring you when he doesn't score the ball. And it was nice to see that 0 for 5 tonight, he doesn't shoot it well. But look what he does and how much he affects the game in other ways. And he's been able to affect it rebounding and blocking shots and creating havoc defensively, you know, for his whole career. And he just kind of keeps getting better. I want to hear a little bit about your scheduling that you've done so far. This really seems pretty crazy, you know, going on the road, playing some tough teams and all that kind of stuff. Uh, how do you think that helps you? Yeah, fun? we've uh, we've really embraced a difficult schedule. Um, sometimes <laughs> I second guess myself when I'm into it right now. Like maybe that wasn't the uh, the best decision. But no, we we have kids that want to be tested and they want to see where they are nationally against the greatest teams in the country and so this is the toughest non-conference schedule i've had since i've been the coach here and we're going to learn a lot about ourselves but i think we have a group of kids in the locker room that want those challenges and and think they can go compete with anybody on any given night this particular spartan invitational thing with three games in four days is that sort of a sort of a test of your team in terms of 
looking toward the postseason when you're going to be playing back-to-back -back days? It is, and this is honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, you play an MTE in college basketball, you get to play two more games. Yeah. Well, shoot, I like games. So, <laughs> you know, you, we play an MTE just so we can play more games. That's the honest God truth. But within that, I love the idea of playing back-to-back -back nights. Yeah. And we were originally supposed to play Friday, Saturday, Sunday in this deal. I'm supposed to play app on Friday night. But the Coliseum had a conflict over the weekend, and we wanted the App State game to be here in the Coliseum as an in-state rivalry right. game. Um, but we like the idea of playing three games in, in three days because if you're lucky enough that they let you stay around when you go up to the conference tournament in Nashville, maybe you get to play two. And then if you're lucky enough, maybe you get to play three, but it might not be. Hopefully it won't be the first time you've ever done it. So, number one, we play the MDE so we can play more games. Right. You know, and then number two, it does prepare you for postseason play if you're lucky enough to win the first one and the second one. Hard work on three, sprint to the next spot. Ready? One, two, three. Hard work. Sprint to the next spot. Don't walk. Get there. Get there. Get there. Get there.